What is happening, everybody? Bruce the Budget Aquarist here. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Hey, um, getting ready to head out on vacation, going out west with my lovely wife for a couple weeks. Enjoy uh, Mount Rushmore and uh, some uh, great hiking out in the woods and stuff. Looking really forward to it. But before I do, I had commented on uh, somebody's video about how I set up uh, new tanks and I commented that I just simply take uh, a lot of water uh, from an old existing healthy tank put it into the new tank and that works great and somebody had posted on there and then they actually removed the post um, but not before I saw it they uh, posted that uh, this doesn't work uh, there's no beneficial bacteria in the water column it's all uh, attached to things uh, like filter media etc and one person even went so far as to comment that it's in the filter media and um, that's it um, so this is the reason I'm making this uh, video I made some notes here by the way so pardon me looking down every now and then because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything when I was uh, talking about this but um, that's why I'm making this video. So, uh, hate to do it, but I have to really briefly, for folks who aren't super familiar with it, talk about the nitrogen cycle, just so folks know what we're talking about when we talk about beneficial bacteria. So, fish poop, bro, uh, dead plants, um, snail poop, uh, old fish food, all this stuff breaks down and uh, turns into what they call ammonia uh, or ammonium. I'm just going to lump those together for this uh, video. And these things are basically poison, okay? Nothing can live in that, um, and that's a bad thing. And what happens is as this starts to build up in your fish tank, bacteria come along that we call beneficial bacteria, and uh, some of them... Uh, eat that and they turn the ammonia ammonium uh, uh, into nitrites if I heard that okay nitrites uh, are bad for your fish uh, they get easily absorbed into the fish's body um, and uh, they can cause uh, a reduction in the fish's ability for its blood to carry oxygen throughout the body so it's definitely not good for uh, the fish uh, can be deadly obviously um, then what happens is there are some as the nitrites build up in the tank more beneficial bacteria comes along and grows and starts to break that down and turns it into what's called nitrates and nitrates would be what we would call the end of the um, nitrogen cycle because we then want to get rid of that typically the best way being uh, water changes. Uh, by the way, the best way to clear up your ha tanks, period, live plants, water changes. Um, that's it. Do a water change minimum of once a week. Figure out what works for you. It keeps your water clear. doesn't make it cloudy. 25%, 35%, 40%, 50%. It's going to vary depending on the load uh, uh, of that you have. You have a lot of fish. Do you feed them a lot? Are they messy? Whatever. Um, you may have to do larger water tanks. That's nothing that any one person can tell you. 25% is going to work all the time. You may need a 40% water change once a week. So there you go. But that's it. Water plants uh, or um, live plants break down a lot of the stuff and eat a lot of this stuff. And um, water changes obviously wash it away. So you flush it down the drain. Um, what happens is people think of... Uh, bacteria as being in their filter media because it is what's called lithotrophic um, bacteria is okay bacteria likes to attach to and make a scum and then all kinds of different bacteria will get in that scum and live um, they like to do that and they like to attach to things filter media uh, anything though can house bacteria it can be on rocks it can be on plants it can be on uh, it's, it's definitely in your substrate. It's definitely in your filter media. So basically anywhere that there's going to be good living conditions, this stuff's going to grow and it's going to attach and it's going to spread. But the thing is, is that does not mean it's not in the water. It is. It's moving. There's water flow over, um, you know, you take a, a, a handful of sand and pour water over it and some of the sand is going to be moved around and this is the same thing with bacteria 
Um, just because it's attached to something doesn't mean some of it can't break away. So if you start a new tank and you have everything's pristine, new gravel, new tank, new decorations, everything, and then you take some filter media and put it in there, what's going to happen is that beneficial bacteria from that is going to spread through that tank and then it's going to start to grow and attach to all kinds of different surfaces depending on what surface uh, holds the best um, uh, oh, I guess I want to say what holds the best um, living quarters for that uh, uh, for that type of um, uh, bacteria. Again, because some bacteria breathe oxygen, they want sunlight. Uh, some use CO2 and they use water and chemicals and other things to produce food. They don't need sunlight. Uh, there are... Um, like I said, some eat the ammonia, some eat nitrites, and then we do our water changes. But um, scientists have checked. They found beneficial bacteria one to two inches down into your uh, substrate, uh, typically. This is be uh, where there's a lot of water flow still. They can get a lot of oxygen out of the water, so those are typically the ones that use a lot of oxygen. Uh, two to four inches down in your substrate, you'll find stuff that uh, uh, does not, you know, use um need the oxygen and the, the sunlight but there's still beneficial bacteria there so again you could take a big scoop of uh, four or five inches of your um substrate move it over put it into a new tank fill it up with new water and now you have a big colony of that bacteria down in the bottom of your tank now keep in mind folks i'm not saying that you can move a filter pad or a little bit of substrate or some old water into a branch bank, a new tank, and then add 50 fish to it. I'm not saying that whatsoever. What I'm saying is that the bacteria colonizes all over in your fish tank. It's everywhere, anything, and like I said, you'll feel slimy substances. If you have snails, garden snails, or any others, uh, they're swimming around or they're crawling around on the surfaces and that's what they're eating they're eating that slimy stuff that contains millions and millions of bacteria um, and that's what they're eating so uh, that being said I think what happens is that um, uh, people people hear something you know for example let's say my dad told me that some beneficial bacteria are in your substrate only i would grow up then thinking that and i might take and move a lot of my old substrate into a new tank get it all started and it works seems fine i don't put too many fish in my water stays reasonably clear and you know pretty soon i've got a good tank going so in my mind my dad was right everything was good and i think that's what happens with people when they say well no you got to take the filter media it's where it is Filter media is great for one reason only. It holds a lot of bacteria. That's what it's designed to do, okay? Um, so it is good to move filter back, uh, filter uh, material into uh, a new tank, uh, and that's why that works. But I'm telling you, folks, I take 50-plus percent of water, maybe even 60 or 70 in some cases, out of tanks that are running and that are healthy and that haven't had a, a water change in about a week and i move that over into the new tank and it brings with it all kinds of good bacteria and that tank gets established very very quickly i uh, don't get any blooms uh bacterial blooms uh and everything uh you know works out very smoothly again i don't um move any existing uh, material from my uh, filters and I don't typically move anything from my substrate just a lot of the existing water it works great there's all kinds of bacteria in that water folks so don't believe for a minute that there isn't um, if you uh, have any questions or anything uh, please feel free to comment and uh, otherwise keep in mind if you're gonna set up a new tank and you have access to old filter stuff um, from somebody that's got, again, a good, healthy tank, then go ahead and move it. You've got a little bit of gravel you can get from somebody. 
throw it down in your existing gravel it'll help some old water from somebody or your own tank great filter media great by the way um dried up filter pads believe it or not they house bacteria that won't die it isn't dead uh, it'll stay living in there for a long long time um, and uh, you can take that and put that into a tank even if it's uh, like I said that, that, that filter media has been uh, dried out there's a lot of that bacteria will boom take uh, take right off and grow again uh, bacteria by the way uh, likes to grow at around 86 degrees uh, It'll stay growing from 60 degrees up to, uh, you know, mid 90s, um, but it's healthiest and have happiest at about 86. So it's a little warmer than a lot of us keep our fish tanks, which is usually in the 75 to 82 degree range. Um, so, uh, but it still does really well. What's going to kill off bacteria? Boiling, <laughs> which if you got boiling water in your tank, uh, you got a problem anyways. And then also freezing. Those two things do that. So, and then uh, certainly chemicals, we understand uh, chlorine will kill, uh, you know, a lot of bacteria and things like that. So, but if you have dechlorinated water and you just let it set for a little while, that's just going to get beneficial bacteria in it. So, um, don't let anybody tell you there isn't bac beneficial bacteria everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere in the world. And you just need to get as much of it from an existing tank into a new tank. And then, like I said, don't overfeed. Don't overstock the fish. And you will have a good, healthy uh, fish tank and uh, go from there. So thanks so much for your time, you guys. And we'll talk to you in a couple weeks when I get back. Take care.